Hello, my name is Colin. I'm a chaplain working with Hockley Street Baptist Church in a market town called Leighton Buzzard. Welcome to this short video on finding hope in prayer. A lot of people are struggling at the moment in these difficult times with the coronavirus and looking at prayer, perhaps for the first time, as something that may be able to help. Perhaps that's you, or perhaps you're just curious. Well, if you're new to prayer, I'm not sure what it's all about. There's not a formula to prayer, nor are there special people who have a hotline to him. Prayer is just talking to God and is part of our relationship with him. Over the years, I've seen many answers to prayers in practical ways and also in my relationships with others. I've prayed for things I've needed, for my work, and at times in finding a new job. I've prayed for my health, and even when I've had depression and things haven't been going so well, I've prayed and found that really helpful. I found God is interested in the small things in our lives as well as the big things. Um, as Jesus said, um, God promises good gifts to his children. And as I've prayed, he's changed situations sometimes, and yet other times he's changed me, he's softened me and made me different. I remember praying as a child, but then in those days it was for things I thought God could get me. Um, I saw God a bit like a Father Christmas. I was not brought up to go to church and uh, it was a real surprise when I met people who were very, um, very much into God and um, those people were different. Um, for them, God was up close and personal. They said they had a personal relationship with him, which I'd never heard before. They told me how they prayed to him. And one, per one woman who I, I met, she said um, that she'd lost some jewellery on a plane and she explained how she prayed for that jewellery and then found it. Something so small and yet God still cared for it and cared for her. And you could pray about it. That was a revelation to me. And ever since then, I've prayed about the small and large things. So where do we start with prayer? Well, may I make a, a couple of suggestions? The who, the where and the how. Very briefly, firstly, the who. Who is the God you are praying to? Is it the Father Jesus prayed to or some other idea? And there are many ideas of God in our world today. That's the first thing to ask yourself. The second is the where. Where am I coming from? Am I approaching this as a relationship? As Jesus said, we need to be hungry and thirsty to know God. Am I seeing myself um, as someone perfect who hasn't got any flaws and, and, and just coming to God for things to have some sort of bargain with him, perhaps? Um, if we see ourselves in that way, um, it's very hard to get close to God. Um, it's important to see ourselves as, as hungry and thirsty, as empty, to be come, in, come in humility to him and, and in helplessness to, to ask him for help. Um, that is the way to get a response from God. So we've had the who, we've had the where and the how. Well, very, very quickly, it's keep it simple. You don't need elaborate prayers and keep it real. Um, be honest and, and real with God. Tell him, tell him your deepest um, concerns. He knows them anyway, but he, he wants us as children to, to speak to him and tell him. And, uh, and keep going. Uh, Jesus tells of a story of a woman who kept banging on the door of this man's house and, until he eventually opened the door. It's really important we keep trying, we keep praying and don't give up. So you're welcome now to join me in a very short prayer before we finish. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you that you are interested in me for loving me and your care for me. Thank you for sending Jesus into this world to be a bridge between humanity and you and to make it possible for us, for me, to have a relationship with you. Dear Father, I pray you send your spirit into my heart to help me understand more about you and who Jesus is. Amen. That's all for now. Thank you for joining me and God bless you.